Hey y'all, this is Tiffany, and I wanted to share a few projects with y'all. I um, did a few cards and some embellishments and stuff, and I wanted to show y'all. First up, I did a shaker card with my group, Craft That Divas. And here it is. I love it. There it is. It shakes. I love, love, love it. This, I tried to emulate the Armand de Brignac bottle, the Ace of Spades gold bottle of champagne. I tried to emulate that. Yeah. What is it? Uh, Armand de Brignac. Yeah. I love it. I love, love, love this. This is a card. Yeah. And I love it. See, I got this label here off. I printed it up off of Google off the bottle and fussy cut the, off the picture of it. I embossed it to look like that bar that they have on the bottle and then one on the neck of the bottle as well. And I embossed it here to look like the foil on the champagne bottle on the back. Too. Mm -hmm. And my little seed beads came from the dollar store. Love, love, love it. Mm -hmm. mm, love how that turned out. Also, I did this. Ooh, look at her. <laughs> Ain't she fabulous? Yes. Oh, look, and she sparkles too. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Like solid gold. Mm, mm, mm. I love it. Oh, I love it. I tried to make it chunky this time too. You see the flowers there? Mm -hmm. So this is a Michael's flower here out of the dollar bin. And I just put some uh, diamond dust on it. This one here as well. This one I got out of a kit from Jennings 644. And a little acrylic rose in there as well as mint green. I don't guess you can really tell the color. Some green feathers because I love feathers now. This little pick or spray or whatever this is. I think that looks kind of cute. I did a clothes pin as well. Put some glitter glue on there. I got this image of the lady off of Pinterest, of course, my favorite. I think I looked under either vintage women, vintage ladies, or art deco ladies, or something like that. Yeah. Fussy cut her out. Put some glitter glue on this thing. And, oh, I love it. The stamp is from the Couture, the Couture stamp set. The green paper is from Big Lots. And... They have like little packs of six by six packs for two dollars, and the other the other two are from My Mind's Eye. I think it's the Lost and Found two stack. I bought a card base instead of making my own card base this time. I bought a pack of them. They were on sale. I like it. It's a good sturdy card. I think it feels like almost like linen or or canvas maybe. I don't know. It feels really nice quality, and I matted it with my name back here. I got this from Lovely Scrapping. She mats hers with about 10 of them. I love that. This I'm starting. I'm building up. I got two now. Yeah, I'm building up to it. And the inside. I love it. Love, love, love it. Did that with my Martha Punch and a little more Studio G glitter glue. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. I love that. Then some embellishments. I love clothespins. Look. <laughs> I love, love, love them. These are so cute. I love my little packaging as well and my paper bow. I made this with my one inch circle punch. I got a bow die that Lisa from Juju Craft sent me, but I haven't used it yet because I need an extended plate for my cuddle bug. But for now, I made one with my circle punch. And I love it. Love, love, love it. These are, that's my initials there. I love the packaging. It kind of reminds me of the Heidi Swap colors in the store. Yeah. But yeah, these are my clothes pants. Got some eyelash trim on there. And some little pearly yummies from that I got in my kit from Jennings. And I got another one as well. Mm-hmm. Love it. Oh, love that. So that's my dollar store bobble there. Those big chunky bobbles. And I cut a rosette in half and kind of made it into like a little, what looked like a little circle. And I stuck the bobble in there, a little flower in there, and wrapped some pearl string on there. I love them. This is some black pleated trim that I had a little piece left, and I put a flower on that. Uh -huh. 
and it's clipped on to the cupcake uh, liner. What's that? It's clipped on to the cupcake, the cupcake uh, wrap that I got from the dollar bin. I got a pack of those. I love that. It looks all die cut, don't it? Mm -hmm. Just cut a piece off, and I rounded the corners a little more there, and boom. That looks yummy delicious on it. Also, I made this inspired by Ann Sims. I love this little lace pouch. It's all shabby, yummy goodness. Mm -hmm. This tool, this lace tool here, I got it from AC Moore. This trim I got from Jennings out of a package. This lace here from Hobby Lobby. This pearl trim here from Jacinia Creative Eyes X3. I love it. Love, love, love it. And this is for a little treat bag. You know, just open it up. And you put yummies inside. Love it. Love how it turned out. I love, love, love it. Thanks so much, Ann Sims. This is a brilliant idea. I was doing other stuff with these bags, but what well, with these book pages. But yeah, a book page. I love it. So that's it. That's all I got to share. Um, I'll be back, though. I thank y'all so much for watching. I hope you liked it, and I'll see y'all later. Okay, bye.